Martin Luther King Day, downtown Orlando. A city that is known for its tourism and a place to start a new life. Just miles away from Orlando's main attractions, there's an underworld. A world in which many are forgotten and face day-to-day -day struggles to survive. I can't lay down without get up. This is private property. We don't want you here. Get up, move on, get up, move on. It's obvious that this struggle makes some people feel frustrated and depressed. But for some, there's still light at the end of the tunnel. See a lot of homeless people out here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, be honest with you, when I'm not working, I'm homeless. <laughs> I don't look at it like that. I got faith, you know. No, it don't bother me because I'm not, I'm not really in that category. I just put myself in that category until I could get the right amount of money to do the things I need to do. Many homeless struggle with financial issues, leaving them on the streets. What's the hardest thing on the street? Rest. You always got to be swimming. Who do I got waking me up in the middle of the night while I'm hearing out of the corner of my ear, RC off the top rope, because he's drunk. Being homeless makes daily life a challenge. From having to worry about where you're sleeping at night or how you're getting around to what you're going to eat, it is no way for a human being to live. I haven't ate two days now. In two days. You haven't ate for two days? Two days. Yeah, two days. It was struggle. Two days. Two days. It was struggle coming up. A hard time, but not this hard. We got a lot of people that's Trying to be positive, but don't know, don't have the direction in life to go. But you know, some need help more than others. You know, you know some need help more than others. Now he gonna come and take it all. Watch, <laughs> he ain't gonna leave nothing for nobody. That's like the homeless people that want a hand out and don't care about nobody else. That swan shows everything right there. Being greedy. Being greedy, you can't never make it in life. Then you get a bully like him pushing everybody away to come get it. You got, listen, you got um, four quarters for a dollar. Four quarters for a dollar? Yeah, hold up, hold up. This is what I got last night. Where I'm supposed to spend that after I give him four quarters. They gave you a burn dollar? Yeah. For the homeless, a means of transportation is very crucial in everyday life. My daily basis is if I don't have a bike, I'm in danger. Because your bike is your getaway. My bike gets me out of the downtown area into the area where there's a chance for me earning my rent for today, which is my Salvation Army money. Because at first I thought that, why should a homeless man have to pay to, to stay? But then I thought about it. They have to do that because if you have a homeless shelter that is allowing the homeless people to just live in it for free, then that homeless man will adapt to living for free and he would never try to get an, uh, a job to support him. But the Salvation Army is the one, the only one, that when you go in there, it's the only one when you when you wake up, 
they'll offer you a job right away. But for me, me being terminally ill, they would tell me to sit over there and they would give me a bag lunch, put me on a van and take me and take me to the nearest public. And I could ring the bell for salvation. And that's my goal for every single day. Those people, a lot of it, 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 because the community really defines our program. So we have a huge feeding thousands of people on Thanksgiving. We can't change the direction of the wind but we can adjust ourselves to always reach our destination. If we can educate ourselves on the true problems facing the homeless, we learn much more about how to address it. Look at the camera and say one thing that you want everybody to know. God's number one, have faith and believe.